All right, here's an algebra problem involving a circle, a tangent line, and eventually a normal line. We're going to start with a circle with center HK. HK is nice because it's the center of any circle. And then we have one distance to the outside to point 1, 2, and one distance to the outside, which we'll call 3, 4. I might call this distance 1 and this distance 2. One formula that we can make is that if distance 1 equals distance 2, then you're going to have h minus 3 squared plus uh, k minus 4 squared is going to be equal to h minus 1 squared plus k minus 2 squared. And that'll be h squared minus 6h plus 9 plus k squared minus 8k plus 16, h squared minus 2h plus 1, plus k squared minus 4k plus 4. And all of the squared terms are going to drop out, which is convenient. And then 16 and 9 is 20. If I add 6h to this side, I'll get 4h. If I add 8k to this side, I'll get 4k. And then this will be 4 plus 1 is plus 5. So if I subtract 5, by the way, this is 25. 9 and 16 is 25. Now I'm going to subtract 5, and I'm going to get 20 is equal to 4 times h plus k. And, of course, I can divide by 4. So all of this is meant to reduce to a formula of h plus k equals 5. That's one formula I want to hold on to. The second one I'm going to hold on to is going to come from the slope of the tangent line. And the slope of the tangent line is, well, the slope of this line here is y equal to 3x minus 5. Right? So the perpendicular slope, if the slope here is 3, which it is, then this perpendicular slope is going to be equal to uh, negative one-third. So if negative one-third is equal to the change in y, which is k minus 4 over h minus 3. And if you cross-multiply, you'll get negative h plus 3 equals 3k minus 12. If you add 12 to the side, you'll get 15, 3k plus h. Okay. So there's my second equation. So then all you have to do is take the two equations, h plus k equals 5, and h plus 3k equals 15. And if I multiply the top by negative 1, you can see that this is going to be 10 is equal to 0 plus 2k. And I get da -da -da, k equal to 5. And if k is equal to 5, going back to this one, h has to be equal to 0 to get 0 plus 5 equal to 5. So the coordinates of the center of the circle are 0, 5. Okay. Next, write the equation of the circle. Well, to do that, now that we know the center, we can find the radius 
is just going to be the square root of uh, 0, 5. So it will be uh, 3 minus 0 squared plus 4 minus 5 squared, which is going to be 9 plus 1 is the square root of 10. So the equation of the line is going to be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals square root of 10 squared. There's your equation of C. Then the last part says find the coordinates of the second point of C on the chord through 1.2 parallel to the tangent 3, 4. All that they're asking for is to find the equation of this line and I didn't mean for this to go through the center. It looks like it's close to it, but it doesn't need to be that close. We're trying to find this point here, AB. Okay. It's going to have the same slope as the other one. So what I'm going to do with that is the slope is going to be equal to 3. So we're going to go b minus 2 over a minus 1 should be equal to 3. Because here the slope is 3, can you just go um, b minus 2, a minus 1. Okay, And then cross multiplying, I'm going to get b minus 2 equal to 3a minus 3. And so b is just going to be equal to 3a minus 1. Then, now we can find, it says find the coordinates of the second point. We need another equation, and so that shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to take my equation of the circle, which is x squared plus y minus 5 squared equal to 10. And x is just going to be yeah, and so we can just put this in. We can just put this in for um, a. a is just x squared, but b will just substitute 3a minus 1 minus 5 squared equal to 10. Our goal is to find out what a is. So you get a squared plus, uh, let's see, 3a minus 6 squared, which is going to be a squared plus 9a squared minus 18a plus 36 equals 10. It'll be 26. This will be 10a squared minus 18a. This looks bad, but it's actually going to work out. Divide everything by 2. And you'll get 5a squared minus 9a plus 13 equals 0. And believe it or not, this is going to factor. One of them, of course, is going to be a minus 1, because you know that one of those points was 1, 2. But the other one is going to be 5a minus 13. And now you're going to get... You're going to get negative 5. Oh, I did this backwards, didn't I? This is plus, and this is minus, minus 13. Now you have 5a minus 13a. Yep, and just a quick little algebra mishap up here. We've got a 36, and 36 over 2 is 18. So when I factor these, 
I'm going to get hit 18. I'm going to have to have uh, A I just do it this way. Minus 5 minus 13 gives you negative 18. So we'll have two solutions for A. A equal to 1 and A will be equal to 13 fifths. So if A is equal to 13 fifths, one of the coordinates for that, the other one is going to be 3 times 13 fifths minus 5 fifths, which is 39 minus 5 is 34 fifths. And that's the other point on that secant line, parallel to uh, y equal 3x minus 5. There's your answer.